Good morning, ABC family. Welcome back to another Kids Talk. Happy Easter to all of you. Easter is a wonderful time to celebrate Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. It's a day of worship, of joy, and good news that Jesus is alive. Jesus has conquered sin and death, and we are welcomed in a relationship with him. During today's kids' worship and the Easter drive through you'll hear the Easter story. The story of how Jesus died on a cross, was buried, and three days later resurrected from the dead. So for today's Easter Kids Talk, rather than retell the Easter story, I want to ask the question, what should we do with the good news of Easter? What should we do with the good news of the Easter story? Many times, we think of Jesus as this golden ticket, a ticket that gets us into heaven. Everything you want, get Jesus, the golden ticket. Don't want to go to hell? Want to have eternal life? Want joy and happiness? Jesus is the answer. He is the golden ticket. Now, ABC family, is this all life is for? Get your golden ticket and then wait for heaven. If you remember, God is telling a wonderful story, a story of shalom, a story where the world experiences completeness and wholeness in God, a story that is meant to be shared. And God wants us to participate in this story. Life is so much more than waiting to cash in our golden ticket. Today, let's read Ephesians 2, and we'll answer the question, what should I do with the good news of the Easter story? Starting in verse 5. We, speaking of Christians, were spiritually dead because of the things we did wrong against God. But God gave us new life with Christ. You have been saved by God's grace. And he raised us up with Christ and gave us a seat with him in the heavens. He did this for those of us who are in Christ Jesus. He did this so that for all future time, he could show the very great riches of his grace. He shows that grace by being kind to us in Christ Jesus. God has made us what we are. In Christ Jesus, God made us new people so that we would do good works. God had planned in advance those good works for us. He had planned for us to live our lives doing them. ABC family, did you notice the three parts of God's story is found in these three verses? In the first half of verse 5, we see the effects of the fall. We are spiritually dead because of our sins. In the second half of verse 5, we see redemption is found in Jesus. And in verse 6 and 7, we see the future hope of restoration. Paul reminds us of God's amazing story. This is the good news of Easter. Now, did you see what we were supposed to do in response to God's story? Verse 10. God made us new people so that we would do good works. Are we supposed to hear God's story and just keep this golden ticket to ourselves? No. Do we enjoy God and sit around with the golden ticket all day? No. Do we just hold on to our golden ticket and wait for our life to end? No. What do we do? We do good works. We make disciples by sharing Jesus with others so others can share Jesus. We do not keep the golden ticket. We share it with others. ABC family, even though we are saved and have eternal life when we repent, believe, and follow Jesus, our lives are not done. 
there's still a lot of work to be done. We have redemption, but we also pursue restoration. With Jesus, we help the world be restored to wholeness. So, what should we do with the good news of Easter? Share it with others. Share the story of Jesus. Today, as you hear the good news of Easter, the good news that Jesus is alive, share it with others. Share it with people who may have never heard the good news, with family, friends, classmates, neighbors, and people you meet in stores. Remember, God is telling a wonderful story. ABC family, may we tell God's story too. I'll see you next time.